Alright, so one of my recent videos testing out the Warpaint's Fanatics uh, uh, tones and shades, I had someone ask, can I do the rest of them? Well, here we go. So I primed up some more Goblin Warriors and some Goblin Archers that I had some extras of from Massive Darkness 1 that you don't need in Massive Darkness 2. And we're going to be testing all of the 10 other washes on these guys. And I'm putting them directly on the entire miniature. And we're starting off with some purple tone. And in my little dollar store tray, uh, that silicone, uh, I dropped five drops of each one. This purple tone, I had none left. Like it was bone dry, there was nothing left. It used everything to cover up this model. Well, you might say, yeah, but the models are different and there's some that have more than that, but I found they were actually quite similar anyways. Now I'm gonna be using the magenta tone, which has a pink hue to it. And I'm just putting the purple and the magenta together because I find they kind of like match, sort of. This is extremely bright. This actually makes me think of the pastel pink or salmon or whatever. There's a there's a pink pastel color in the speed paints that I find does exactly this. So if you have the speed paint, you can use that probably instead of those, this wash. But as you can see, it and my brush is it's not wet, but it's damp a bit, right? So there will be some like removing. But I found this one was not as thick. Uh, as some of the other tones, nor was the purple tone, as you can see there. Uh, they, they went on really well and stuck on nicely. The red tone is next. Uh, I forgot to mention though, the um, magenta tone had about two drops left. I used about three drops out of five. Uh, this red tone here, uh, there was none left again. So again, you're gonna say, well, this is a bigger model and all that, but you'll see at some point there are some that are on these Goblin Warriors that uh, actually go through it all, don't go through it all. So I think the wash is either more watered down or my brush was more wet. I don't think so because I try to dry it off as well as possible. All right, let's take a look now at the dark red tone. Uh, and at the end, I'll tell you which one of each one is my favorite uh, whenever I compare them both. Uh, so the dark red tone, as you can see, it actually does go on a lot darker. It has a little bit more brown to it than red. Uh, it does pool up very well, a little too much sometimes in the nooks and crannies, but I found it did a great job of covering. And this one, I had about two drops left uh, again. So... Um, Again, it's on this. Is it on this because it's a smaller model? Is it actually that much more? I don't know if there's much of a difference except for the fact that the other guy has a shield on his back. I don't know. There's not much, but you can see a side by side here. All right, we're moving on now to a blue tone. Uh, this one uh, had absolutely none left again in the bottom of the thing. And this one actually had really none left. Like I stretched it at the end. As you can see over the white, it really gives a nice blue. This kind of reminds me of their runic gray speed paint, actually, to be honest. Uh, I found the runic gray had be like this, but even more watered down actually than this one. Uh, so if you're trying to do some jeans or something like that or something cool with this blue tone, I think this one would be better than the actual runic gray, in my opinion. Now we're going to look at the dark blue tone, which had about a little over one drop left. So see, even this one, instead of having two drops, it had about one drop left. A little over, not much. Uh, and this one, though, as you can see, it is much thicker and uh, pulls up a lot more than the other ones. Um, but does a great job covering. It kind of reminds, it's, it doesn't remind me of Drakenhof Nightshade at all. I was expecting it to be like that, but I find this is almost like the dark tone with a little hint of blue, but not much blue, because you can see, look at getting next to the blue. It's way darker. All right, now we're gonna move on to the strong skin shade. I think you've seen me use this before, but now on top of an entire model, you'll see really how it works out. This is very brown, very dark. Well, not dark, okay, sorry, but it's it's very brown. Uh, it kind of reminds me of the strong shade, uh, but giving it more of a fleshy look, sort of. I mean, this could be used for other stuff than just flesh, in my opinion, no, not just skin. Uh, you could use this on any kind of color and all that. Uh, yeah, I mean, and not so bad. And that one had about uh, one drop left. So see, that one used a lot less than the other ones. Uh, dark skin shade now, so very dark. Uh, it's I like this one a little bit more for the consistency of it and how it applies and uh, how it covers. And it's not as brown. It's got a little bit more darkness to it, a little bit more... Uh, oh, what, what hue could this be? Anyways, I just, I like this one a little bit more than the other ones. You can see there, it's got a little bit more orange in a strong one. This one is more very, it, it, it does a good job. 
All right, our final colors are the green tones. Oh, and by the way, the dark skin shade had about two drops left. This one had none left. The green tone again had absolutely none left. Again, I should have maybe checked to see, okay, is it the model? Uh, so it's not a great comparison to see how many drops I'm using, but I, I think it kind of gives you a hint that some of them use a little more than the others to cover what you need to cover. Uh, but again, this one is cool. It gives you a nice green hue. It's not too thick. It really is kind of watered down in my opinion. The military shader used to be my go-to for covering up green. This one is definitely darker, more earthy tone, less green to it. Uh, I think it would work well. Uh, I, it is a tad different than the original wash. I mean, I don't know. Uh, I don't really have any videos on just washes from the old ones before and I no longer have the old stuff Anyways, we're gonna take a look now at uh, All of them and I'm gonna give you opinions on which one I think is the best in all of them uh, For each one and you know to take a look at them Alright, so if we take a look at all of them in the purple magenta pretty good both of them the dark blue the blue I like more the dark blue tone I like more the dark red tone and to be honest, I kind of like more the uh, dark skin shade, but I kind of like more the green tone, the way it goes on and all that. The military shader, I find they, left, they lost some of that green that they used to have in their military shader. It, it, like, it was like a forest, dark forest green that just kind of helped enhance green, but then get darker in the nooks and crannies. So it was just, I don't know. Anyways, uh, I want you guys to comment down below of each tone, each color tone, each range, which one is your favorite and do you find this video was helpful or not in deciding in which washes to get? I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. That is free and smash that like button. I want to see you. Anyways, again, I want to thank you guys for watching and we'll see you all in the next one.